I go into a system at the age of six for 12 years in which that's not the name of the game, in which every day the system is laid there for me and I'm to take that in and the rules are all set up where I'm competing with everybody in that classroom. I'm not particularly engaged, it's not, not what I'm interested in. It's not a training in being interested, it's a training in being dulled. When everything is set up in advance, I'm not part of the dialogue, I am simply told to be silent and master what is being told and then to compete with everybody for that. So what capacities do I have to engage in a discussion of the vision? Where are my resources? Nobody asked me that before. I should I have a vision? Nobody asked me in that system what I really care about or what, what is really moral or to work through those moral problems. It, public education is by and large demoralized and depoliticized because teachers are afraid to get engaged in that because they'll gain part of the controversies. So in some way, what I'm really fascinated by is the ways in which we can locally, nationally change that educational system. And I think it's already in motion. I think this whole movement towards um, individualized or group work or project-based learning, m moving with, um, being part of the world, I, it's changing. To get rid of grades as being the answer to it, that com whole competition, to find some alternative to that, that's happening. Those are the kinds of things that really worth pushing, and if we could do that, I mean, it's, then we would have more young people standing up politically and saying to the, to the world, hey, you've got to do something about the environment. That, that's heartening to me. Yeah, yeah.